agree, because I don't think anybody should tell anybody what to believe or who to believe in. Right. right. If anybody pulls that stuff in me, I just tune up. <laughs> there you go. That doesn't do any good anyway. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? Well, faith isn't something that you or I or Ruby can give to somebody. It's just something that's there when you're ready for it. Mm, I don't know about that, though. Mm, don't agree with me on everything I say. <laughs> no, really, it's like, okay, a song that you sing. The words mean different things to different people, right? But how does right. that tie in with what you're saying? I don't know. <laughs> don't confuse me, all right? Okay, when you sing, where does it come from? Um, my throat. <laughs> Ten points, you got it. But that's just an instrument. I mean, you and the music and the words, the piano, the orchestra, the guitar, whatever, all of those things are instruments. They're tools. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So what touches people, I think, is the way that you bring all those things together, the way that you believe in the, what you're saying, or what you're singing, I should say. That's what gets into people's souls, a tiny piece of yours. Well, I never thought of it that way. And it's also like, oh, what is that verse in the Bible? He who has ears to hear, let him hear. But that means to me that you can't force somebody to believe the way that you do. No matter mm -hmm. how hard you try and cram it down their throats, they're going to believe what they believe. What you have to do is just think and feel and believe the way that you do. Kind of like what it says in the Bible, let your love shine or light shine or... Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's enough of lighting up my life for the day. How about a free dinner? A free dinner from Ruby. Imagine mm -hmm. that. You don't have to do that, really. Well, I know that, but I owe you. That's true. You do. Okay. Forced me into it. Okay. Have you eaten? Uh, yes, I have. But please don't stop now. Keep going on. Oh, an invitation like that. No, you really shouldn't, because I'll just talk and talk no, no, about it. No, I mean it. I mean it. I haven't heard this religious stuff in a long time. <laughs> religious stuff. You sound exactly like me. That's the way I looked at it. Religious stuff. All right, so what made you change? Well... Don't answer that, because I want to hear the answer. Just a minute. Kelly's. Oh, is that you, Ruby? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but who's this? Well, I'm surprised you don't recognize the sound of my voice. Oh. I do know. Well, fine. Would you be good enough to tell, tell me if Colton Shore is there and tell him it's his mama calling? It's your mama. It's for you. Thank you. Hello. What'd Ruby do, faint? What? You missed dinner. I missed dinner? What do you mean? Well, I've been trying to get you for the last hour. You remember that good news I told you about Tony and Lucy patching it up again? Well, honey, you ain't heard nothing yet. So get yourself all slicked up and get over here right away. Right now? Yeah. Come on, do it. You won't be sorry. All right. I'll do it. I'll be right there. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, mm -hmm. looks like I'll be skipping dinner tonight. Thank you, Aww. Mama. But thank you for the invitation anyway. And it was nice to meet you. It was very nice to meet you, too. Even though you don't agree with that. <laughs> Bye. Just when I was beginning to like that guy. Yeah, what's wrong? Charlene. Darling Charlene is his mother. What? Thanks for letting me see it. <coughs> what a lot to look at. <coughs> what have you guys got? Nothing, nothing. I've looked around for all this new construction. There's nothing anywhere. It's got some other stuff, though. Like what? It seems to be some sort of triggering device. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. It's the kind used to activate a remote control. Which means he was probably nearby on some vantage point. And set it off when he saw you and Duke run into the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get some guys to search the high ground. Maybe now listen, keep your eyes open for any other clues that Anna might have left lying around. Okay. What else have we got here? Got a carton of dog food. Dog food cans, huh? Which means that was a cage. But the dog wasn't in it. Anna was. And a bigger, pretty meager diet, too, stew. Oh, how could she stand it? Let's just hope she did. This could be something. What? It's just a piece of a box. It's pretty shredded up, but I think we can make out the picture. At least you can make that out. Yeah, it looks like a picture of a hunting rifle. Sure, you have to put a torch for some. Box for yeah. hunting rifle. This, unless I'm mistaken, is the ammunition to go with it. Well, Putnam's got the right. He's more dangerous than ever. Take that back for analysis. Sam, would you uh, 
Put these cans, plastic bag for me, please. Might be some prints on there. Whatever you're planning isn't going to work. Nothing has so far, and they're going to follow it, and they're going to find us. They won't shut give up. up. You know I'm right. I just told you to shut up. I want to hear the news. Stop all this is about publicity. You're doing this so that you can hear your name on the news. <laughs> oh, Anna, you know better than that. It's not my name I'm interested in. It's Robbie's. Ah! <laughs> General Hospital will continue in a moment. Stop it! <clears throat> and it kills you right here and now, Anna. Do you hear me? Get in here. Stay in here. Okay. You're interrupting the regularly scheduled program for a news update from police headquarters. Go over here. If you try anything, I'm gonna kill you and whoever is in that truck. Do you read me? and you wave, you do something to stop him. Schedule. Let me call the aura club. No, 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 no. no. The, the wife is very, very cold. Come on, it's not going to take you long. What do you say? All right, let's make it quick. Well, hurry. It's cold. I'll pull in right behind you. All right. You understand something? You try anything, I will kill you first and then kill him. winch ain't working, but I got some hooks and chains in the back. You're gonna have to help me get out of them, though. No problem. Does the uh, Mrs. want to wait in the truck, keep warm? You know, she, she always insists on helping out. <laughs> I'll let her hold the flashlight. Okay. You have to help me move some of these crates. You got it. Um, keep the light where we can see what we're doing. Good meal. Yeah, it's great. So am I. Well, Mama knows how to do it right, don't you, Mama? And you didn't eat anything tonight. Well, um, she has a headache. Is it bad? Oh, it's just one of my migraines. I don't know why. I had to get it right now. Stress, that's my diagnosis. I'm sorry you feel that way. No, don't worry about me. I could give you something to make it better. No, no, it'll go away on its own. You know, there was a guy in the service that had a migraine for 10 days. Really? Yeah. Hey, you want to know what cured it? No offense. What? Acupressure. We had a medic in our unit that studied it somewhere. Anyway, he tried it on this guy, and it worked just like that. Sticking needles in somebody? <laughs> no, 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 that's acupuncture. This is just, he uses his hands on various pressure points. Oh, sort of like a massage? Mm, not exactly. I mean, I know the theory about behind acupressure. Uh, I've always just wondered if it wasn't sort of psychological, too. Yeah, 
I've kind of wondered about that myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean that if someone really believes that it will help, then it will help. Positive attitude helps in healing. Faith can work wonders, huh? Well, I wish something would work on my head. Well, it will if you let it. Now, let me try something, okay? Come here. Face me a little bit. Now, I want you to relax. Close your eyes. Close them. There you go. Now, just relax. Let your mother relax. Okay, there you go. Now, I want you to picture someplace, the most beautiful place that you can imagine. All right? You get relax. Not very cooperative subject here. Okay. You got it? Picture someplace beautiful. Now, let yourself go there. I will ask the questions. Tell me, how did you know where to find Anna? You had some information. You didn't get it from the police department. Now, who gave it to you? Don't waste your time. You know I'm not going to answer that. Okay. It's fine with me. Stick around. I'll be in my office. When you want to talk, just call me. You can't keep me here. I can keep you here as long as I want, sport. What is it you want? An apology, perhaps? I want one thing out of you. I want to know how you knew where to find Anna. Why don't you do something smart and let me out of here? And the police department her. can handle that. We don't want you causing any more trouble. Since when did you become judge and jury, sir? You can't keep me here. Let me out. Save it for the court in the morning. Can't keep me here. Settle down. You're in here for the night. Migraine's gone. Good. You cured me. Good. Oh, then you can help me clean up all those dishes in there. <laughs> I am certainly not going to help you do the dishes. I'm going to go in there and do them myself. <laughs> Honey, I don't... I don't really know what you did, but you cured me. Oh, uh, Mom, I didn't cure you. It's the acupressure. That and your faith. No, it was that mumbo-jumbo you it said. no mumbo-jumbo. He just had you relax. Yeah. Well, it was the way he said it. Colton, I'm, I'm not sure about this. I think you must have some magic power. Well, I don't have any magic power, Mama. The power is yours. You just have to have faith and let it work. Well, right now, I've got more power than I know what to do with it. I'm going to go out there and make another pie, and <laughs> I'm going to do the dishes, and I don't need anybody's help. Thank you very much. I've got more energy than I've had in years. Colton, sure, you really are something. Well, thank you very much for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> You used your hands, didn't you? I saw you pressed on her snuff box. Yeah. I know a little bit about acupressure. Well, you sure do. Mm -hmm. And like you said, faith heals. That's right. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> 